What is going on guys, Carlos here from Live Gaming Paradise we are back again with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time we're going to go and do the Mogawok Shrine in the Lanero Great Spring just outside the Zoro Domain and uh, this one was pretty cool. Uh, it took me a couple of tries and I, I can make a really good run out of it but it, very interesting the way that they've done that. I really like the concept on this one. It's uh, new stuff again. Uh, the location was there as you saw and if, th if this is the first time you're here thank you very much for watching please comment like subscribe all that good stuff if you're a regular or a member thank you so much for supporting me i really do appreciate it thank you right let's go and uh do this one and it involves a battery you know charging a battery it's pretty cool now i really like this one now, hopefully they'll become more complex with more uh different elements uh, in the same shrine because at the moment it, it uh, kind of like follows a like a design pattern the power of water that's what this one is called it, it fa follows like a, a design language and if it you know it's not you don't get different elements you get like the same ones depending on what region what region you're in right the first thing we're going to need to do is get that chest there that hidden chest uh, that you can easily miss and again, I want to remind you to take the stuff out of the chest, even if you're going to drop it outside of the chest itself. Make sure that you take the stuff out of the chest. If you, even if you've got too many weapons, just drop one of your weapons if you intend to pick it, pick it up again. But take the stuff out of your, out of the chest because I also want to analyze that you've done that you've collected the chest. Now we're going to pick up this uh, plate in here, and we're going to stick it opposite the one that is there. So just like that, and then with your ultra hand, just uh, touch it with the water and that is it that is powering that terminal there and now what we need to do is get this battery here and uh, go over to the terminal uh, kind of like put it upright and um, just drop it on top of the terminal and wait for it to charge up so as you can see it's like charging up uh, inside and then once it's done you're just going to take it out because you know you're going to need to come back here again I'm going to take it out and put it across the room in another terminal and that is like going to elect electrocute, electrify those balls there under the water with the chains, like we like we had in Breath of the Wild, very similar. And uh, just get them together a little bit. As you can see, there's like a little uh, ring around that ball, and you just have to get the other one closer so they can make a connection and open the buzz on the other side. Then just swim close to the wall so you don't get electrocuted and uh, go through the door and get what's inside of this chest in here. I really like that little detail that the, the floor is wet uh, when you've been in water and you see like footprints, wet footprints. That's pretty cool. I don't think that was in Breath of the Wild. It's a new thing. But, but attention to detail, really like it. And then we're going to go and pick up this thing in here again, this battery. And we're going to power up this lift so we can get over to the top. So put it back on the terminal here and uh, wait for it to charge up. And then all you need to do is just carry it over to the other side uh, and uh, put it on, on, on the other terminal. You need to get inside the basket first. Just remember that. You see there's like a propeller underneath. and But obviously there's no power to the propeller. So just, uh, just put it in here for now. And then all we need to do is climb inside of the tray in here, grab that uh, battery-like device and uh, drop it on the terminal. And that will bring you up and you'll be able to collect your Light of Blessing. So I guess this is it for this video guys, thank you very much for watching, if you did like this video or if this video helped you, please give us a like, consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this. I'll be back again with some more Tears of the Kingdom very very soon, so thanks again for watching, I'll see you in the next one, goodbye.